Civilization is a strategy turn based game. You take turns with like NPCs on the players. I play against the NPCs on the NPCs computers. And it's very difficult. I don't strategize and everything. I don't have any DLCs except for the DLC that came with the game. There's new DLCs, there's new characters and everything I'm interested in again, but I haven't bought because who got money for that? So let's begin single player. I'll create a game. As you see, there's many world leaders, random leaders, world leaders, but they all have from different cultures, like we have Frederick Barbosa, he's uh, from Germany, then India, you know, um, Alexandria, Alexander from Macedon, Macedon, which is Greece or Greek, um, basically everybody. So for this, I'm going to play random, so we're going to get a random um, world leader, even though a lot of these world leaders are good, but a lot of them are really trash based on like how you want to win the game man like that's a lot now this is difficulty so we are a prince they set us as prince prince is considered normal and the king like above it so under it we have warlord which is like easy then we have chieftain which is very easy and then we have settlement which is like minecraft setting when you play uh, minecraft and then you like you could build an everything but there's no monsters no creatures there's nothing there's like no creatures um, above king, uh, I mean prince is king, which is uh, um, above normal, considered like a little bit over normal. Above normal, then we have ex ex emperor, which is hard. Then we have hard, emperor hard. Then we have immortal, which is very hard. Then, you know, deity is insane. It's like literally insane. It's very hard to beat that. It was so hard to beat it. And it, it took me so long to beat it, but I got it done to get all the trophies. I'm happy for that. Right now, we're going to play on. I don't know. King is like above normal, but it's like still easy because the AIs are not that intelligent but the emperor the AIs are intelligent but they're cheating because they get bonuses in the beginning and that's not fair you could be smart but why you have to get bonuses too like you create a civilization or you create a city you only get one city now you have to try to survive and make other cities but they come with two cities already made like come on so, really we're gonna try it out if if I don't do good, I'm just gonna quit it. We're gonna call it a start another game. <laughs> That's how I play this. I start another game. Um, the speed of the game is gonna be normal, the continent or the, the land, the, uh, the land mass. So they have very a lot of different land masses. If you're interested, as you can see, they got the different names like Four Leaf Clover, Boundless Areas, we got Six Arm Snowflake, Continents, Earth, East Asia, Fractal, Island, Lakes, Inland Sea, Lakes. Mera, Seven Seas, Pangea, Shuffle, Small Continents, True Star, Location Earth, and Terra, and True Star, Location East Asia. I'm going to put Shuffle. Um, if you want to see and read the descriptions of these types, you can go back to the video. I mean, rewind it, and pause it, and read the description parts. I'm going to put top of that. I'm going to put um, the size. I'm going to put standard, so more eight people, so me including seven other people in the map. The shuffle, and we're gonna begin the game. Hopefully, they give me a good, a good starting location and a big uh, start country. Because I 
Because honestly, I did try to start this recording before. It gave me a decent um, country, but it gave me a horrible land. And I'm like, I'm about to get it. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, Even to her, man taking his uh, first upright steps, trash, you have come you far. Right there, the and the now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Amanitor, watchful queen of Nubia, the empire you command shall claim the horizon as its border. So basically she's more Don't like fear those who her skills is your basically like gold. in the beginning and Or your archers can part their hair at 500 paces Your city shall know prosperity and piety, that wise that queen that like For the land of the bow honors its past As surely settle. as it builds Sorry, its own future But yeah, it's about being surrounded by resources Resources is the most important um, thing in this game. Now I feel like um, hopefully we get a good place. <laughs> you hear me say, "Oh, I'm trying to process this." Like, is this trash or no? This is kind of trash. This is really trash. This is. Garbage. What's over here? Is there anything over here? I guess uh, we're gonna just settle here. Settle here or here? If I go there, I got the water. Let's settle here because we could get. I don't know. I'm gonna go here and try. Alright, we're gonna see over here. If there's nothing good, we leave it. Alright, we leave it. We we starting over. <laughs> I guess we're gonna get somebody else in a new place. This dude, this is how I play this game. I have to have a great play starting From the first stirrings of life beneath water destroy to the great uh, beasts of the now, Stone Japan Age. To story. man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now and begins your greatest they, quest. Japan benefits come from, from this early cradle on of civilization on towards the yeah, stars. You see me pick shuffle. The great wave so of Buddhism follows you. End up in an area that has islands or a place that has no islands. So his your people truly understand trash. what it is to practice balance. So let, let and even your finest samurai will be well learned and land spiritually active. Be strong. Embrace the divine wind. And you will reach your combat in shallow water. Tiles. Build encampments, holy sites, and theater districts in half the time. Well, I guess build holy districts and theaters in encampments half the time. But if we're not on a shuffle, like a uh, shuffle continents that have a whole bunch of islands, he's completely useless and I will restart this. Oh! We're on a continent. That's crazy! They really gave us a continent. Okay, so so everything about this, like how the cities, um, city, so made my city. So how the city spreads by three, um, three spaces in, from the city center. So we have this. So one, two, three. This is how it's gonna go. One, two, three. That's how it go. One, two, three. That's how it go. One, two, three. So it goes by threes. First, we gonna build scouts to go explore for us. And so why is you here? Getting like one of the most horrible. Things. Now we got to figure out science. What are we gonna focus on right now? I feel like we need production, which is we gonna get from horses. So we are gonna go into animal husbandry. I don't even know that word. That's the first time I'm seeing that word. I play this game and I don't read that word. I just thought domestication the whole time. Literally, that's the word I thought domestication. So hopefully, if there's any other civilizations around. They face me next to the coast. I get power boost. Here is a village, and if you have units that find a village and you land on a village, you get bonuses or benefits. So as I show you right now, I did that, and look, they gave me a free explorer, a settler. A settler, is not a settler. A scout is explore. They explore. They see the land. They fill up the map. 
see like right now we only see this area this is all we know this is all we know and the more we explore the more stuff oh I should settle right here I should make another settle there and settle there because if I I mean this is how I strategically plan things so I know everything go by three so one two three or one two three I know that if I want to build a city that's close enough that you know another city that will help out I do another three so one two three so I probably put a city here yeah I put a city here even though it's a good resource I need to put it there then I have enough resources to go around that I'd be able to connect with everybody go explore be free find out where them bandits is coming from we need to destroy those bandits bandits is these red outline enemies in a sense like they provide resources but this is a city state so these guys are neutral but like if you get enough benefit if you give them enough envoys they support you oh, my scout's stronger oh yeah cause we're on the black coast so boom you see we fighting that's a bandit I have a five bu attack bonus usually in the beginning you're even even or you're lower because you're a new civilization yes army is strong enough he coming by me oh he can't get the smoke do you realize can a builder fight him now now he saw us now he gonna try to go report back to his home base that yo there's people here we gotta smoke them now I'm you know, I'm not with it so I'm about to clap on myself After we build a builder, builder is the people who construct the land, basically, who constructs for us. Who do I get? Uh, that gave, uh, it gave me a code of law. So basically, these are civics. So, like, to like become better later on or more governing, like, government wise, that's what you focus on. So far, we're not doing bad. Yeah, he right there. We about to slap him, boy. I am fun. I told you to walk with the man. Get this one. You know, we're in the beginning where, you know, you settle and then you, you just think, like, places considered your land. So, we finished, um, animal husbandry, so we're gonna be able to, um, farm. As soon as I finish the builder, builder come here, and I'll use this as a resource. Face this guy now. Because, uh, this is the bandit camp, and you attack it, and you basically fight it until the point you win, or you can lose. Um, yeah. See what's happening here. I don't want him fighting because Scout is very weak. As you see now, I am doing sailing. Sailing wood. I mean, sailing will let me build boats, but also let me farm this crabs, which is another resource. And then also this whales. There's nothing here. Alright, time for us to leave. Alright, we're about to finish him off. Remember, I was higher, 30 to 24. You know, a lot of my army people died out. Good. Why would you go over there? You can't see that one spot? This is a horrible place to settle because there's no way to grow life. It is not from the sea and come on, like really? It's the sea. Let's ah. move over here so we can see that space. There's nothing there, then we level up. Well, after you get a certain amount of experience, your character can level up based on where you want to go, battle cry or tortoise. You could go anywhere every time you level up. But for now, we're going to just focus on combat strength versus... Combat strength? Yeah. He's just going to be an attacker. He's going to attack everybody. Uh, we just got a code. I mean, we leveled up a code, so now we could put in some policies. Right now, I want you to focus on basically production. We got to keep... We got to produce fast. So he's almost done. 
then I'm gonna start making archers. Well, not archers, but archers will come later. First is slingshot, then we'll slingshot. And Why did you come back here just to... Why are they exploring the area they already see? Oh, gosh. So we're about to get ready to fight soon. It is not the... Over there. Now I want to do mining. I got to These hills will be beneficial for mining because I get resources. You guys come back here. So hopefully I send him back. I mean, I send him to fight for us. But by that time... The, the slinger should be done being produced. Why he so, you can see I got these resources now, and I didn't explain earlier. But you have citizens, you see the number of people in my civilization. So I have three. So I have three citizens. Now the citizens could be arranged in places to focus work. So right now I have one here, here, here. Then you know I guess we consider the the, the citizen that made everybody here. He governs the how the, the village work or the town work. This soon so that I can upgrade right, this good. Okay, the citizens, I mean not citizens. Right, I get to fight. Now you now early now there's another thing that happened in the game where if you explore or you do certain you complete certain tasks, you get experience for certain abilities or certain like um, technology or research and some coat of arms. So like right now it say improve three tiles. I only have two tiles to improve, but if I improve another one, I will uh, the the sh unshaded the sh like the the circular not circular but the moon crescent um um box that you see inside the circle that get filled completely from doing that um stuff. Get you a little bit. Go here. Have him finish you off. And I'll be able to finish archery. That didn't kill us, so alright. Keep you there. Where are you gonna go? Oh, there's a world uh, wonder over here. I know this because this is just regular trees, um, but it provides culture, which is strange because why would a place with no like people, and, I mean, no um, resources like marble provide that? When you find. Uh, Before it was 15 and a couple, now how many is it? Just need two more. Two more, that's it. You're doing very good. Um, since we already destroyed two bandits, we want to go for this now. There it is. An like enormous and here. lofty column of flame. So I want to build something close to here because it would be very beneficial. So I may build something like here. I get land here, I get, I get, be able to cross the water here, then I'll be able to get these resources here. I believe we're on an island one because the 
way this is looking, it would look like we're just nothing but island. <laughs> Without. Hopefully this kills. 21 to 13. Yes, it kills. And guess what? We're about to level up something. Nice. We level up two things. Going to military? I don't know if I want military. The way this looking, I'm gonna be more culture wise. So I feel like being on culture would be more important. So level that up first. There's another thing here. Oh, I'm the only one on this land area. That's that means all these resources mine if I get to it fast enough. About to get it destroyed. No, no, go here. What do we get? Do we get another technology. All right, we getting technologies. That's what's up. Yeah, there's nothing else here of interest. Build this. I don't know. Should I take over that? I mean, I could attack, but I don't want to attack that. If it was another civilization, I'd attack to take it. But since the city states, they're usually stronger, especially on this other difficulty. So it's better off not fighting them. There is a lot of resources here that I'm interested in. Okay, we got that. Build a monument. Then build another builder. Build that. I want everything to be ready. So you attack them. Progressing, but like if you look at here, this is world rankings. We're all the way at the end. Yeah, I don't know why what he thought it was gonna happen. Oh, we found another some um, continent. So go to this menu. We're on the Chimera, but we found the, the Zelanda. That's on like Iceland and um, New Zealand. Bunch of bow jacks. I'm gonna 
bench for the science. Only three. Oh, oh there's another world wonder here. another one more bandits around here why none of these civs I mean these um, city states taking care of these guys I'm about to get shot I shot a strong Plant, I mean, plant a person there. Did he kill him? I built another builder? I could actually come in. I am power. Why? <laughs> um, wow, I got another one, so I could actually just I have a lot of them a lot of them now. Crazy. Alright, I have you go over here and fight them. Wow, then I why not?
want to build over here. I like having sand area.